The world is still reeling from the sudden death of Black Panther star Chadwick Boseman, the man who gave us a black superhero, dying from a disease that he kept quiet about, colon cancer, at the age of 43. No one really likes to talk about having to do the prep or, you know, sticking some, something where the sun don't shine. So, you know, I, I hate to say it, it's, you know, very awful and very sad, um, Chad, Chadwick's passing, but, you know, hopefully this will bring much needed attention, not only for people in black and brown communities that are higher risk of both getting the disease and dying from it, but also young onset and just people in general, even over the, eight, the recommended age of 45 for getting screened. The head of the Colorectal Cancer Alliance, who also lost his mom to the disease, is addressing the stigma, highlighting the fact that African Americans are at higher risk of both contracting and dying from colorectal cancer. People of color are also more likely to develop colorectal cancer at a younger age and to be at a more advanced stage when diagnosed. This is likely due to a combination of factors, including health care inequities. Young onset colorectal cancer is on the rise about 2% every year. Experts aren't sure why, but misdiagnosis is a common issue. You know, if you have night sweats, if you have cramping, if you have bloating, if you have fatigue or unintended weight loss, change in bowel habits, um, certainly bleeding, dark colored stools, et cetera, you have to see your primary care physician. A traditional colonoscopy isn't the only screening method. There's a less invasive virtual colonoscopy that uses CT scanning. There's also a stool sample test, even at home screening called Colgard. You can check out getscreen.org for more information.